Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are y'all doing today? Alright, so my last upload for Naruto Shinobi Collection was about a week ago. And I gotta apologize because some of you have asked me to do a video on the battle mission versus the four teachers. However, by the time I finally found time to do my recordings, which is today, the event is over. So I'm very sorry to those of you who needed tips and info on how to beat the mission. I wasn't able to find time to record a video before it ended. Maybe I'll be able to cover that when it comes back in the future. So please, please, please forgive me. I'm terribly sorry. And some of you have told me that I've forgotten to talk about the 6 stars version of the Sage Mode Naruto with the voice acting. And I'll be covering that details of him at the end of this video. So in today's video, I'll be mainly talking about a bunch of different ninja gear. So let's get started. Alright, so if you guys watched my previous videos, you guys know that, you know, for the New Year's, we have a ton of awesome new uh, and different events, right? So this is one of them. It's available right now uh, all the way until January 30th. And uh, over here, we have a few, you know, different new ninja gear. And uh, over here, these three are just ninja gear materials you, you use or you need to make a certain type of ninja gear, all right? Uh, so let's go through the list, all right? So let's start with the Sakura's Kimono. Uh, max HP and defense is increased by 40%. If you equip the Kimono to the following Sakura's, max HP and defense is increased by 100%. And also, attack and agility is increased by 50%. And then over here, we have uh, Sasuke's traditional Japanese clothing, because I actually don't know the term for the male's uh, traditional clothing, because I know that females are called uh, kimonos. But anyways, max HP and agility is increased by 40%. If you equip this to the following Sasuke's, max HP and, uh, sorry, max HP is increased by 100%, and attack and defense and agility is increased by 70%. It's funny how they're, like, they didn't put the and, like, attack and defense and agility you know for this sentence they just missed out the ends it's funny all right so over here we have the clothing for naruto max hp and attack is increased by 40 percent if you equip this to the following naruto's max hp and attack is increased by 100 percent and also defense and agility is increased by 50 percent all right and one of my viewers um weekly tough or weekly puff 86 has mentioned this uh to me before I recorded the video, he pointed out that this ninja gear is the orange type, all right? So for those of you who uh, don't know, there are four types of ninja gear. There are the red, actually no, there are five. Uh, there were there are two red types, all right? They're different, but they're using the same color coding. And there's this uh, orange one, yellow one, and the green one. Green one's usually chakra item. Uh, the red ones are usually, well, not the red ones, but the main red one is usually the ones that boosts your main stats, like HP, attack, defense, agility. And this time, uh, these ones are actually, you know, the orange type, meaning you can actually combine them with the usual red type. So this will actually make your Naruto, Sasuke, or Sakura even more OP than they are, all right? So that's that, and now let's move on to the next one, all right? I believe is this one actually no not this one over here so over here we have uh the retro event again so i'm not going to go through all those uh different like info and detail and stuff so just have fun with those um but this time there are actually a ton of gear that i haven't covered before all right i've talked about the kisame before too so yeah but i'm just going to talk about the gear this time okay so this is what you guys actually will need to know and uh let's Take a look. So this is the, um, oh man, what's the name again? Hamesada? No, I'm totally making this up. Okay, I don't know. You guys comment down below what the sword's name is. I totally forgot. There's a really awesome, unique name to it. Uh, suddenly, you know, every time when I start recording stuff, uh, names just suddenly goes out my mind, right? But anyway, so we have his sword over here. Uh, well, belongs to B now, but uh, anyways, water type skill damage is increased by 30%, and max HP is increased by 10%. Okay, if you equip this to the following key sum as max, sorry, all skill damage is increased by 70%, and max HP and attack is increased by 30%. And then over here, we have key sum as uh, ring. After every action, chakra is recovered by 10%, and also water type skill damage is increased by 10%. If you equip this to the 
if you equip this to the follow in key summons after every action chakra and hp is recovered by 10 percent and also water type skill damage is increased by 60 percent and then over here we have b's uh pen or is it pen it's a pencil actually uh that he uses to write his raps with right so lightning type skill damage and attack is increased by 30 percent if you equip the pencil to him uh max sorry all type skill damage is increased by 70 percent and then attack is increased by 50 percent and then over here we have a's belts the champion belt actually now that i see the belt it seems like i've talked about these before but whatever so uh tied to type skill damage is increased by 20 percent attack and agility is increased by 20 percent if you equip the belt to the following a's max i mean all skill damage increases by 70 percent and attack and um agility is increased by 30 percent so that's that for that mission and then over here we have the big battle mission for hanabi and again i haven't done a single mission yet so um i don't again i don't think i will be making a video on this one because if you guys need information on how to unlock more missions uh my previous big battle missions especially the last one or the one before the last one have covered up the steps on how to unlock all these missions okay like i taught you guys how to read certain japanese characters and how to unlock them what the usual requirements are and they haven't changed all right so if you guys need to know or need to know like basic japanese words for gaming check that video out that'll help you guys out a lot so in the future uh whenever you guys face these big battle missions big extreme battle missions you guys will have no trouble at all right so i just need to uh you know find the info on hanabi and talk about her but there's no info on this page anyways let's go through the three different ninja gear that we have okay so the first one we have um this thingy uh this like tai chi symbol thingy and don't really know what it's called so a dodge rate is increased by 30 percent and critical hit power so whenever you land your critical hit okay that's the power so critical hit power slash damage increases by a hundred percent if you equip this to the following huga family members this for a second looked like 10 10 to me uh you will be able to trigger the unique effect okay but how come hanabi is not included in here right yeah i don't i don't see her all right so if you equip this to the following uh units dodge rate is increased by 100 percent critical wow critical power is increased by 1000 percent and Byakugan's skill damage is increased by 50%. All right, so now let's move on to Hanabi's Kunai. Byakugan type skill damage is increased by 30%. If you equip this to the following Hanabi, Byakugan type skill damage is increased by 80%. And also, attack, defense, and agility is increased by 20%. Again, they're not putting the N anymore for some reason. Only for this and Sasuke. Everyone else still has it. All right, so over here we have hiyashi's um rope max hp and attack is increased by 40 percent if you equip this to the following hiyashi's max hp and attack is increased by 80 percent and all skill damage is increased by 20 percent all right and that's actually all the ninja gear that i actually need to go through today but before um, we move on we need to actually check out and see if there's actually hanabi for me to cover all right so give me one quick second all right so the answer is no i've checked out the big extreme battle mission already um apparently the information is exactly the same as the information page that i just you know i was just looking uh, at so uh we don't have any inf or at least i don't have any information on this current hanabi so we just probably have to wait till she's released um, all right so over here guys this is the shippu ninmu beta version and this will cost zero stamina so i um you know encourage you guys to do them i actually need to do that myself and check out what the shippu ninmu is all about all right and uh that's about it and these are all just you know the new year's um event so go do that Th that should give you some um rewards and stuff all right so let's move on to the gacha because i haven't talked about this when it first came out this is the one i mentioned in my previous videos uh this is the new year's 
uh, legendary Sanin, all right? This time featuring the, the young ones, the newer ones. So if you guys are wondering about what these things are, this is just like a rewards thing. So every multi summon that you do, you will get like, you know, you get like one point or one out of the nine rewards. And uh, don't worry, it's not not something like super important or anything like that. I'll, I'll show you guys right away. So over here, there's the second tab. So there are nine rewards in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you just be able to get one out of these nine common items. Well, these are not so common, but again, they won't like really guarantee you any good stuff anyway. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, the thing we need to talk about is um, the, the units. But before that, the rates, if you guys check out the rates, it's a bit, uh, well, actually, no. The rates are the same as your normal rates. So there's 2% chance of them appearing for your first multi-summon, second multi-summon, or your regular summon. So 2% chance and 4% chance for the other pickup characters, okay? So now let's, oh, I thought I just saw, uh, you know, Double Rasen, I mean double Rasen and double Shadin Gun Kakashi, but no, he's not featured this time. All right, so let's go through the list. The first one we have the New Year's Naruto, well, one of them, and uh, the first skill is a, well, actually no, let's take a look at the status. All right, so over here the stats are pretty good, 14, 13, 12. So overall, things seem to look good. And over here, first skill is a summoning type skill. Trigger speed is normal. Chakra cost is 70. All right, what it does is it deals 5% plus 1,200 damage to the enemy's whole team. And also, it'll put them under uh, the deadlock status. So same as his usual, like, um, what do you call it? The Android Celebration uh, Summoning Naruto. So it puts them under the deadlock status and then there's also a chance that critical hit will happen. When critical hit happens, your damage will be three times, all right? So three times bonus damage. And what the deadlock does is uh, for the enemies, it'll lower their attack and defense by 30%. And then also they will be immune to any buffs or debuffs, all right? So after you use the deadlock status, you can't really debuff them, all right? So second skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is normal chakra cost is 70. What it does is it'll boost his whole team's agility by 50%. And also skill trigger speed is increased by one stage. All right. So um, again, this fine print is just saying that, you know, if your trigger speed is already at the fastest, it'll become light speed, right? Or flash speed. Okay. So over here, leader skill. So he actually feels like the, the android summoning uh, Naruto, uh, you know, both the skills, but it's just like a weaker version, I think. All right, abilities, leader skill, max, sorry, I keep saying max when I see all, all right, my bad. So all attributes, like all attributes units, their max HP is increased by 20%, skill damage is increased by 17%. Ability number one for the first seven turns, attack, and agility is increased by 30%, and also chakra cost is decreased by 40%. Ability number two, when your chakra is at max uh, stage, like max, maxed out, your skill damage is increased by 70%, and then he belongs to Konoha. So second, uh, and by the way, these are all like limited edition characters. They will probably only appear during the new years. All right, so over here we have Sasuke, uh, the status, uh, 12, 14, 13, all right. Uh, slower comparing to Naruto because Naruto has 160 and he only has 140, right? And then over here, he belongs to Konoha. This probably this is not even canon, right? All right, so first skill is a summoning type skill. Trigger speed is 70. I mean, sorry, my bad. Trigger speed is normal. Chakra cause is 70. What it does is it deals four times as attack damage as attack to the enemy's whole team. So again, AOE damage. There's a chance that it will cancel out the enemy's action. And also, if your enemies are um, like under a debuff status, uh, whether it's like attack, defense, or agility, or all three, uh, they will 
your your damage will be two times, so two times the bonus damage, all right? And also, if the enemy is under a deadlock status, then you deal four times the bonus damage to them. Second skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is normal, chakra cost is 70. What it does is it boosts your whole team's attack by 50%, and then also puts you guys under the through status, okay? So again, I explained this uh, before for the Android one. Uh, what it does is it will ignore the enemy's defense by 20%. So basically the through meaning you go through their defense, all right? So ignores the enemy's defense by 20%. So he's like a, again, almost similar to the Android uh, Celebration series Sasuke, but a weaker version. So I, I assume the Sakura will probably be that. So now I'm excited. Let's check that out. But anyways, leader skill, all it buffs all uh, attribute type units, buffs their attack by 20%, and skill damage is increased by 17%. Uh, sorry, ability number one for the first seven turns, attack is increased by 60%, and chakra cost is decreased by 40%. And uh, ability number two, he's totally immune to any negative status effects and skill damage is increased by 50%. All right, so finally we have Sakura. So over here, first type, uh, sorry, my bad, I keep keep forgetting. So we let's go through these ones first. So 13K, 12K, and 14K. And uh, she's a bit faster than Sasuke, but uh, a bit slower than um, Naruto. And then she belongs to Konoha. All right, first skill is a summoning type skill. Trigger speed is slow, chakra cost is 75. What it does is it'll recover your whole team's HP by a medium amount, so medium amount only, nothing comparing to her uh, OP Android uh, Sakura. And then her chakra cost is decreased by 5%. And then uh, it'll put you under the healing status. So what the healing status does is whenever you take damage, your HP will be recovered by 5%. Second skill is a unique type skill. Trigger speed is slow, chakra cost is 75. What it does is it heals your whole team's HP by a small amount and also increases your defense by 50% and also puts you under the resistant status, all right? So what this does is uh, you'll be resist, oh sorry, yeah, well, yeah, okay, let me read the first part first. So the first part is it'll remove any debuffs and negative status of all your teammates and also puts you under that status where you will be immune to any incoming debuffs and negative status effects. So that's still like a really good thing to have. That's why the Android Sakura is OP, right? But also the Android Sakura is OP on all the recovery stats and things like that now, right? So that one is definitely a much better unit. I'd rather save up my gems for, um, for the festivals. But anyways, leader skill, um, it buffs all type attribute units, buffs their agility by 20%, and also after every action, HP is recovered by 17%. Ability number one, HP, when your HP is above 80%, chakra cost is decreased by 30%. Ability number one, sorry, ability number two, for the first 10 turns, you will be totally immune to negative status effects, and also after every action, HP is recovered, like fully recovered to the max. And we've read this, she belongs to Konoha. All right, and that's it for all of the things uh, that are new that today that I have to cover. And uh, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. If I still missed some of your requests, I'm very sorry. Please let me know down in the comment section down below. I will try to catch up to that uh, ASAP. And again, I, I'm very sorry, um, everyone, that that you guys requested to for me to do the battle mission for the four senseis. Again, I apologize for that because I, I have been quite busy. I really couldn't find time to do it. So I apologize for that, but I you know do try my best to get out you know every other information to you guys, all right? So before I end this video, I promise you guys, I will talk about the six stars sage mode naruto with the voice acting because he got his six stars so let me pull that up i have to use the japanese wiki page once again because the information is not in the game anymore right so i'll put the link in the description down below if you guys want to visit that website uh but just give me one quick second i'm gonna pull this up all right so here we are the six stars sage mode naruto that just got his six stars um version all right so over here First skill is a sage type skill. This is his uh, wind type 
Rasen Shuriken, Sage Moat. Um, it says Wind type, but obviously, like when you're attacking, this is um, this is a Sage technique. And then uh, over here, Trigger Speed is now fastest. Chakra Cause is 90. All right. So what it does is it deals 7% plus 3,000 damage to a single target enemy. And also, if you're under the Sage mode, your damage will be increased by six times. So bonus damage is six times. Okay. And uh, in instead of having like a just regular chance to remove your Sage mode status, now after you have awakened him to a six stars, you have a super low percentage to remove his Sage uh, Sage mode. Okay, that's a very huge buff, all right, to those of you who actually have this character, like I personally don't, but that's a huge buff, because every time, uh, imagine it, every time you use skill number one, it has like a medium regular percentage to remove the Sage mode, uh, that means you always have to use skill number two before using skill number one, that takes a lot of turns, right? So this, act this is actually very good, because now you have a super low chance that this will happen. So you will probably almost always have like a six times bonus damage on top of your 7% plus 3,000 damage, so which is insane. Okay, second skill is a Sage type technique as well. Trigger speed is fastest, Chakra cost is 60, all right? So what it does is boost your own attack and agility by 150%, and also puts you under the Sage mode. Before, you're only put under 100% buff for attack and agility. Now you have 150%. Okay, so Sage mode, what it does is your normal attacks will always critical hit, all right? So like your um, your auto punches, right? Auto attacks. And then also your damage is increased. And also there is a high chance that you will be immune to skills, like incoming skills, okay? And also after every action, chakra is recovered by 30%. Okay, so that's it. Leader skill, not change, uh, but I'll read it out anyways. It buffs all uh, attributes units, buffs their uh, attack, wind type, and sage type skill damage by 40%. Over here, ability number one, max chakra is increased by 100, all right, period. Max chakra is increased by 100. And also, attack and sage type skill damage is increased by 120%. And then over here, for ability number two, skill damage is increased by 100%. And also, when your HP is below zero, your HP, so like when you die, all right? So this is something very crazy. So listen up, because when you die, you you basically revive once and your HP is fully recovered, okay? So this is how it normally works, okay? But the reason why this is crazy is because now he actually will trigger this two times. So you can actually die two times and not really die, if you know what I'm saying. Because for those of you who have been playing this game for quite a while, you guys know there are a few units out there that can die and get revived, right? Once only. So before, Naruto would do that too. So it will only be once. But um, but no, this Naruto actually revives twice. So he actually won't die until the third time that he actually gets killed. So for the first time, your enemy brings your HP down to zero. You will have your HP fully recovered and still be alive and you actually get yourself killed again, your HP will be recovered again the second time. All right, so you literally have three life bars, okay? So to make things more simple. And also the skill damage is increased by 100% now is in the front part, meaning uh, before, okay, before six stars version, you have to die first. So you have to die once and then having your HP fully recovered, and then your skill damage will be increased by 70%. So much like the other Sage Bone Naruto, or much like the other characters, where you have to die first and then trigger uh, your skill damage boost. But this time, your skill damage is always boost, okay, regardless if you have died or not. So that's actually very awesome. And yeah, that's it for this character, okay? So I believe I've covered everything now, but again, if you guys have any questions, or comments or anything that I've not talked about, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. I'll read through every single comment and get to you guys as soon as possible. All right, so thank you everyone for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and bye now.